Vice President Mike Pence has warned of the dangers Christians face in Iraq and the Middle East more broadly. In Iraq, the followers of Christ have fallen by 80% in the past decade and a half. And across the wider Middle East, we can now see a future in many areas without the Christian faith. The Trump administration recognizes the important role that the Kurdistan region plays in protecting Christians and other minorities in Iraq, as State Department spokesman Heather Nauert explained. The place where Christians found refuge mm. was in the Kurdistan region. You're right. You're right. You are absolutely right. And without the Kurds, many of those families would eventually not be able to come home because the Kurds were a huge part of fighting alongside the de-ISIS coalition and U.S. forces to be able to protect those persecuted communities. And we will never forget what the Kurds have done. In Yet the administration has been neutral as Iraqi forces and Iranian-backed Shia militias attacked the Kurdistan region. Louie Mikhail, a representative of Iraqi Christians, explained what happened to one community as Iraqi and Iranian-backed forces attacked and how they again found refuge with the Kurds. We saw tanks, we saw, uh, we saw Humvees uh, coming in with, with uh, Iranian flags, with uh, Imam Ali and Hussein flags, and under them, Iraqi flag. They burned houses, they killed people, they kidnapped people, and they tried to displace others. Skirstin has fled again from the Nineveh plane where the attack happened in Teleskov uh, two days ago. They fled again to Al Qush, where Peshmerga has a presence. The Iraqi government is dominated by Iran. Baghdad is so weak that it relies on extremist Shia militias. Christians suffer, as do other minorities. Yet when Iraq, and Iranian-backed militias attacked America's ally, the Kurds, the Trump administration turned a blind eye. Lori Milroy, Kurdistan 24, Washington, D.C.